Welcome back to Blar. We have a Wonder Woman 84 paint set from Dollar Tree. So I got this a long time ago. It has two posters in it. it comes with one brush. Uh, all these colors of paint, but with one brush. I'm not sure how you're supposed to get this vibrant <laughs> painting out of these two pre-drawn boards. Um, so yeah. So let's see how far we can get with the one brush. I'm thinking probably not that far. Dollar Tree does have other paint brushes you can buy, but say for some reason you didn't know any better. You bought this for some somebody, and you're like, okay, here's your your paint set. Create your own works of art. But it doesn't really state that it's gonna work, right? All uh, right, two posters, six water-based paints. Okay. Well, maybe it just wants red here and gold there. These paints are always fun to open. They are not. Uh, let's see how the red looks first. And then we'll go with the blue, I guess. Okay. Not a fan of these at all. Okay, we got the red open here. That's our trusty paintbrush. And it's going to be mostly the chest. Try not to get the bird. That's supposed to be yellow. I'm in, by no means good at this type of stuff. But we're just going to see how far this red can go. Let's see. It just wants it just over. Try not to get the bird. I already got it. <laughs> All the way down to the W. Trying my best to stay inside the lines. It's not going well. All right, so that is it really for the red on her uh, gear. I think her boots are red, right? We're gonna make her boots red. Just get to rid of some of this red paint. I think they're gold or red. It's hard to say. We'll make them red for now. I'm just gonna put the whole thing red. Make it a little bit easier. Probably red and gold. Or might be gold. Can't remember offhand. Okay. Close our red. Open our yellow. I guess we can put it right here. Trying to get this bird. I believe this is yellow. Sorry, I got some of that red in it. I dipped into the red a little bit, unfortunately. Then this is yellow. Got the yellow in there. Doesn't look very good. <laughs> but for a dollar, for a dollar, really, I would just keep this <laughs> black and white and maybe use um, markers. Because the art is pretty good. Like the lines are good. This is a cool looking Wonder Woman. There's the unfortunate cheetah. But I did want to see if it was even possible to like make it a thing. And if you're a steady handed person, maybe it is. Um, let's go ahead and try to make the blue here. We got the yellow. The lasso should be yellow, but we're going to try to make the blue as well. Let's get as many colors as we can here. We'll end up with some green in a second. I mean, you really, I guess you could wait till everything dries and go back, and then you might be actually okay. Just all with one brush, we are going to test out the skin tone and see how that looks. 
close this back up. All right. All right, we have the skin tone paint that looks to be dried out in, in chunks. <laughs> so a little water here will help that out. And right there. But technically it is kind of her skin color. <laughs> so I feel like if you came back to this, let stuff dry, you actually would be able to make a decent painting. I'm very shocked actually. And this is what, like about 15 minutes I was messing with this. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. Could just wipe that off, maybe. Let's see here. Get those chunks out. All right. So, quickly done. Like I said, you know, for the age group it's aimed for, it's probably just fine, actually. For someone who wants to make, like, a nice painting, probably not. You definitely want to not use what they give you to make it better. So it look like this. <laughs> I don't think this looks like this. But for what it is, I think it worked okay. Um, I'm a little shocked. But a little paint project from Dollar Tree. And it's Wonder Woman, so that's cool. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe. It does help. Thanks.